In case you didn't know, renaming an event in Final Cut Pro is easier than swiping up. In this video, I'll show you how to rename everything in Final Cut Pro, from events, to clips, to titles, and at the end, you'll get these 91 Final Cut Pro templates worth $138 for free. But first, let's rename. You rename an event in the browser. So in Final Cut Pro, if you don't see the browser open here on the left-hand side, go up to Window, Show in Workspace, and select Browser, or the shortcut is Control-Command-1. Then go back to Window, and show in workspace and select sidebar or press command apostrophe or even more simple, just click this button right here that shows or hides the sidebar. Now we can see our libraries and our events. To change the name of an event, just click on it and press return, enter the new name and then press return again. You can also just do a single click on there and it will select it and you can enter the new name, and then press return. The same works for libraries. Select the library, press enter, and put in the new name, and then press return. Or just do a single click and put in the new name, and press return. The same works for a project. Go to an event, and then select your project, press return, enter the new name, and then press return again. Or, even faster, a little single click, and put in the new name and press return. You can't double click. If I try to double click, nothing happens. In fact, it unselects whatever I'm trying to change. Same on the event and same for tutorials. It's just gotta be a simple single click. Then you have your text highlighted and you can put in a new name. When changing the project name, this will work both in the list view like this that I'm in right now or in the clip view. Just click on the name of the project and change it. Press return. You can also change the name of the project in the inspector. Select the project and then over here on the right hand side, open up the inspector. If you don't see it, click this button at the top, the inspector button with the sliders and that will show the inspector. Go to the info inspector and click on modify. This will open up a window to change the settings of your project, including the name. Enter your new name, press return or click on OK. And you'll see the project name has been updated. If you make a mistake when changing the name, you can easily undo it with Command Z. You can also change the names of your clips. Let's do it in the browser first. Select the clip, press return, enter the new name, and then press return again. You can also single click on it and change the name as well. You can also use the inspector. Select the name, go to the info inspector with this circle with the eye in it and add the new name. And press enter. And you'll notice over here in the browser, it's updated to the new name. You can also change the name of a clip right from the timeline. Select your clip, right click on it and select rename clip. It'll highlight the name here and you can change it and press return. You can also change the name of the clip using the index. Click on index, find your clip, select it and single click like before to change the name. I changed this one to video and you'll see here in the timeline that it changed to video as well. You can undo those name changes as well by pressing command Z. You'll notice the name went back to the original here and in the timeline. Renaming a clip only affects that one instance of the clip. For example, I'll duplicate this clip by pressing option and then click drag the clip. I've got two of the same clips, they're both called Surfer. If I right click on this one and say rename clip and change it to waves, this clip will be called waves but this one stays Surfer. And you'll also notice up here in the browser that it's still Surfer. Now, if I change the name of the clip in the browser and then add that to my timeline, it will take the name from the browser. But these other clips that were already there won't be changed. They'll still have their original name. And if I change this one to Big Waves, it will not affect the clip in the browser or the original source clip. This works for videos, compound clips like this one. It works for audio as well. And it works for images. 
This will also work for titles and generators. Go up to the title generator browser and go to the build in and out category of the titles and just add a custom title here. If I right click on it, I can select rename clip and I can change it to title. So now this title has a new name. I can do the same with generators, drag and drop a generator to my timeline. You see right now it's called collage. I can right click on it, select rename clip and call it corkboard. I can also change the name of the title and generators from the index. Click on index, find the generator title you wanna change and select the new name and put it in. We'll just call it board and you'll see it's changed here and in the timeline. You can change transitions as well. Open the transitions browser and add the cross dissolve to your project. If I select that transition in the inspector, you can see it's called cross dissolve. I can't change it by right clicking on the transition. There's no option there. And I can't change the name up here. The only place I can change a transition name is in the index. Open up index, type dissolve. That will find our transition here, the cross dissolve. I'll select it press return and I'll change it to transition and press enter. Now that transition shown right here has been renamed both in the index and if we select it back in the timeline and look at the name here, it's been updated to transition as well. Renaming is so easy, right? Have you enjoyed this video? If so, hit that like button and in a bit, I'll show you where you can get those free templates to jumpstart your next video. Renaming a clip one at a time is great if you just have a handful of clips to change. But what if you have a ton of them that you need to change at once? I'll show you a sweet trick for that. I've got this time-lapse project I've been working on of this cool lake in California. It's called Mono Lake. And I have a ton of pictures I took to create that time-lapse. Sure, I could change one at a time, but as you can see, this just takes forever, right? There's gotta be a faster way. I could select a bunch at once, go to the inspector and change the names all at once, but now they all have the same name. And that's not helpful. Select all of the clips you wanna change, go to the info inspector and down at the bottom, click on this pop-up menu, apply custom name, then select current name with counter. What this will do is it will keep the current name and then it will add a number to the end of each one, all the way up. So I have 173 images here and you can see it added a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and so on, all the way down to the bottom to 173. That's okay, but I want to clean up this name. This is not very easy to read or see. So I'll undo that and I'll select all my clips again and I'll click on apply custom name and this time I'm going to select new. This will pull up the naming preset Sets setting window. It's already created a preset for me, but I need to name it. So I'll click on it and let's call it custom name ordered. Press enter. At the top here, let's delete current name. And then from clip info, let's drag the custom name token into the field here. And then at the end, put a space and then add counter. Down here at the bottom, let's put in our custom name. I'm gonna call it Mono Lake. And then my counter will start at one and the number of digits will be one. I can select more like two or three and then the digits would be 003, 004, that kind of thing. That's how the counter would work. But this will work for me, just one digit is fine. Now I can press okay. Then I go back to my apply custom name and I select custom name ordered. And you'll see they've been changed. Now it says Mono Lake one all the way down to Mono Lake like 173. Let's go back to the presets and you can edit them here. You can delete them, you can add a new one. One thing that's really helpful is you can also add text in here between if you want. Or you can also add an emoji or a symbol. Put this broken heart in there. Now when I rename those, we'll see that text and the heart in there. Nice job! Now you know how to rename everything in Final Cut. If you're just starting your Final Cut Pro journey, you're gonna love my free templates, especially the 24 customizable titles. And if you're a pro, then you know fading in and out is a bit of a pain in Final Cut. And you're gonna dig my free effect for fast in and out fades. These tools are worth $138, but you can have them for free. Just click the link in the description. Happy editing.